video I'm going to show you how you can set up your very own Discord bot to start and stop your Minecraft server with a single command. Um, in order to get started, head over to uh, my GitHub repository, I'll put the link down in the description below. It contains very detailed instructions about how to get this uh, running. You can even host it yourself if you want to, but that's out of scope for uh, today's video. Um, if you guys want me to make a video about that, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, for now I'll just show you how to add it, um, like my, how to add my public bot to your server. Um, so you just need to click the invite link and select the Discord server that you would like to use. Um, so I'll use my testing server uh, and click authorize. Then I need to uh, solve a captcha to verify, and as you can see, it should join to your server. Um, and at this point, I just, you just need to configure it. So we type slash configure and then hit tab to auto complete it. Um, and it will ask you for a session and a server value. Um, in order to get those, you need to head over to your Eternus uh, account. And from here, you just need to hit control shift I on your keyboard, or you can also right click and select inspect or inspect element. And then head over to the storage tab on Chrome, it's called the application tab. Um, and then on, under cookies, you select the aternos.org domain and look for the Aternos session and Aternos server values. So let's start with the Aternos uh, session value. You need to double click and hit Ctrl C to copy it to the clipboard. And then you just need to paste it in here with Ctrl V and then hit tab to go to the next field. And then we copy the server value from here. Again, double click, hit Ctrl C and paste it in there. Then just hit enter and it should say that the configuration has changed successfully. And at this point, we can just start the server with the slash start command. And it should just start, as you can see, you can check the states with slash status or slash info. We'll give you some more details about status and the server information. Um, as you can see, starting over here, we can just close this window. We don't need it anymore. It should still uh, be running in the background. So if we query the status again, still preparing, um, and you'll get a notification once the server is online. There we go, the server came online. Uh, if you want some, to see some more details about it, you can type slash info, and it will give you the players that are online and server address as well, um, and some, some other information. Um, so let's say you, if you're, when you're done playing, uh, you can also type slash stop to stop the server automatically. Um, and you can query the status as well. And it should stop the server for you. As you can see, the server went offline by now. Um, that's it for today's video. Um, in case you guys need any help, um, you can just type slash help for some basic information. Uh, but if you're really stuck with something, just go to the uh, GitHub URL and you can create an issue or go to the discussion step if you have like a general question or a suggestion or something like that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.